What's up guys, how you all doing? It is Monday evening, had a really nice day today actually, went out with uh, Jay to London, had a nice meal uh, in somewhere called Browns, I don't recommend it but the one in London is quite decent, uh, the, start, the starter or the appetizer uh, was pathetic. Uh, it was meant to be a prawn cocktail and it came out in this like huge bowl and it had like a thousand fucking lettuce leaves in it and about four prawns and a tiny little bit of Thousand Island dressing. <laughs> so that was pretty wank. But the actual uh, roast dinner meal that we had was very nice. Traditional kind of English roast dinner was actually very nice. So yeah, not overly impressed with browns. I've been to another one in Blue Water before and it wasn't great. Uh, the one in London though, it's, it's such a nice little restaurant you know the actual kind of surroundings the environment is so nice there it's worth going to but the actual food is not always great so yeah that was that also had a little bit of road rage on the way home which i hate getting tangled up in i've i've kind of got caught up in that quite a few times before and always felt guilt guilty afterwards for i've never physically uh, punched anyone or hit anyone or anything like that um well not unless they've attacked me uh, physically, but I've never actually been physically aggressive to someone whereby I've actually laid my hands on them and they've not initiated it to me. So, yeah, anyway, I was completely in the right. I promise you, I can't be bothered to tell you the story, but I promise you I was in the right. I ended up forcing the guy to pull over and literally went nuts at him. Uh, di again, didn't physically touch him, but I had Lila in the car and he was, dr he, he really did some horrible. Uh, maneuvers just out of spite really to be honest but anyway um yeah and I still feel bad even after that it drives me nuts because I don't feel, feel like I should feel bad and maybe I did the world a favor maybe he'll think more carefully about doing that next time or maybe he'll be more of a prick I don't know but yeah things like that don't they drive you nuts you know you think oh you know you you're in the right he deserves to have a bit of a bollocking and yet maybe you were physically imposing or aggressive I didn't touch him um I wanted to though, I wanted to wring his fucking neck to be honest. Uh, you know, it's a piss hate when you've got a baby in the car, it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I didn't, but I still feel bad about it. Intimidation, bullying, <sighs> I don't know, how, oh, it's so irritating to try and get that balance when it comes to those things. You know, should you just let it fly? Or should you have a go at the guy? Should you pull them over and inform them of their mistake uh, in a professional manner? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it, but it's irritating because I always um, seem to be the party who's left feeling like shit afterwards. But anyway, that's that. Came home, had a nice evening. Uh, I've been doing like filming and stuff like that because back into normal work tomorrow. And uh, yeah, and then obviously bringing you guys the vlog. Last night I watched Top Gear. What a pile of shit. I know some people are saying, no, it was all right. It's just different people. It wasn't all right. It was fucking awful. Some people are saying Joey Tribbiani was all right as well. No, he was fucking awful as well. He was so wooden, it was unbelievable. He was like a 20-year-old Keanu Reeves. He was so wooden. And I think he'll get better because obviously presenting, maybe he's quite new to him, I guess. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, you know, he was a fantastic actor, very funny and very likeable. And I think he's actually a likeable guy as well. But he just came across so wooden. And Chris Evans is the worst fucking person on all TV and radio. He's got this high-pitched, over-excitable, childlike screech. And he runs around doing kind of childish movements. And it just turned the whole ch show into some kind of farcical kids show. The information they gave, gave you was far too overly statistical um it was just horrendous two people on it is not enough even when they had the guests on it was a little bit cringe and i love gordon ramsay um it was just a mess the whole thing was just an absolute mess maybe it will improve over the coming weeks but i turned it off uh, before it had actually finished i just couldn't watch it it was too cringe it was it was the best way to explain it was it was awkward to watch it, it just felt awkward so very much looking forward to the actual real Top Gear people coming back. And what they should have really done is they should have scrapped that show um, or even kept the name, but scrapped the format and just come up with something completely new because them two trying to replace the three huge characters that were there before is just embarrassing. And Chris Evans, you know, running around like a schoolgirl screaming and insulting the previous people when he's absolutely horrific was fucking cringe it, it was just awful to watch so yeah I, I'm not as positive about it as some people I've seen who are maybe a bit more 
um, relaxed about these things than I am. But I hated it, and I love Top Gear. Me and Jade actually love watching Top Gear together, so that's totally ruined now. So hopefully Jeremy and the others will bring that back to um, its former glory when they start their own show on uh, Amazon. So yeah, that's that. Uh, also behind me here, you can see just there, uh, my 12 inch MacBook. Uh, my 12 inch MacBook I've sold because I've replaced it with a newer one, which is up there, which was the new 2016 version. And uh, if you do have a 2015 version and you're worrying, wondering, sorry, not worrying, wondering whether to go to the 2016 version, don't do it. It's just not worth the money. There's hardly any upgrades whatsoever. Um, even the process is hardly any faster. The graphics is definitely better, but the process are not so much. So if you are looking for one, the person that has bought my one has got an absolute bargain because it's immaculate, um, it's in perfect condition, boxed with all the accessories. I've even thrown in some more accessories and he got that for half the price that I paid for the new one. So if you are wanting a 12 inch MacBook, get the 2015 one. If you can get one with three year Apple Care already on it, you are winning. If you can get one for like 700 quid with three years Apple Care, you are winning. That is a fantastic machine uh, for the money. So I would highly recommend that. Obviously, if you're doing video editing, gaming, and all the higher kind of intensity stuff, forget it. But if you just want like a real beautiful internet client that's very light, portable, with great battery life and a good operating system, that's a real good price for that. For that, I'm telling you. So yeah, there's that. In fact, talking of that, uh, I actually bought this as well. This is. Uh, a what is it called a Minix uh, USB-C multi-port adapter with HDMI so on here you actually get a whole bunch of outputs for that one uh, USB type C port that you get on the MacBook now you get one you can buy an Apple one which comes with HDMI USB and USB-C to charge it but this is way nicer it's gold and it's got a lot more ports on it but it's about 90 pounds can you believe that uh, I've bought it not necessarily because I'm going to use it a lot, but because I wanted to do a uh, like a top three or top five MacBook accessories video, and that's one of the things that I'm going to put in it. So had I not been doing that video, I would not have spent that amount of money on it. But it's nice if you've got the money to kind of throw around. A um, couple of other things as well. In some previous videos, I've been using the Canon C300 Mark II, and even though I've been telling you that in the first 30 seconds of the video, some people have been writing in the comments, what camera is he using? <laughs> well, it's the Canon C300 Mark II. Uh, so I'm not quite sure how they missed that, but yeah, that's the reason it looks like absolutely stunning. And the second thing is as well, that some people have said, uh, how how is that auto focusing so amazingly? And then I think I saw someone reply and say uh, he's using manual focus, but I actually am not. This is full blown auto focus, and it's doing face detection. So as I move in and out, can you see it? If I do it really quick, it might go out of focus, but then within hardly any time, it's back again. It's very very impressive, and even like to do the auto focus like that. Look how quickly this comes up. Boom, and that's close as well. Back to my face, back to this. Around to this, back to the face. The face detection is absolutely incredible. It, it's so powerful on the C300 Mark II. It's a shame actually because the C300 Mark II has got some incredible focusing stuff on it. The dual pixel autofocus is incredible. The uh, face tracking and all that kind of stuff is incredible. And then there's also another thing called focus assist. So you can put it in manual focus and it's got this little thing like that. And as they come together, it means that you're in focus. So you can automatically see really, really quickly, even in, in manual focus, whether you're in focus, it's phenomenal. Um, the Canon 1DX has got the dual, uh, Mark II has got the dual pixel autofocus, but it doesn't have focus assist, which would be great on that because it's a stills camera as well. And um, that one has a touch screen, whereas the C300 Mark II doesn't have a touch screen. And I love the touch screen because you can just click and focus and that's fantastic. So it would have been nice if they would have put all of that focusing stuff that's in the C300 in the 1DX Mark II and the touchscreen on the C300 Mark II and then they would have had all of the focusing features on both. 
Maybe they will in a future uh, release. But probably not, though. But anyway, that's uh, enough of me waffling on yet again about cameras. I'm just rebuilding this Mac here like with a fresh operating system. In fact, I've been um, using my electronic slider today, so we can even move this. Like, even if I move this, it's still tracking my face like absolutely perfectly and keeping me in focus, <laughs> which is quite cool. I'm just using the little uh, eye footage controller. Definitely the best photographic, uh, sorry, video based P accessory that I've got. I love this little thing. Look, to move it, all you do is this. Uh, sorry, wrong side. How cool is that? Yeah, so uh, that is that. Back to normal working life tomorrow. In fact, I'm gonna t uh, I was going to ask you guys, does anyone know of a really good uh, battery powered, if possible, electronic photo frame that's got decent viewing angles. Uh, cost is not too much of an issue, although I don't want it to be insane, but I just want to get a photo, electronic photo uh, frame that I can put pictures and videos on, preferably one that I can even email to or that's got Wi-Fi and I can copy to wirelessly or something like that, um, that's got good viewing angles and also has the option for battery power. Uh, or even USB power and I could put like a strap like a battery pack to the back of it or something like that that would be great so yeah if you if you know of any like that then please do let me know because that would be awesome in two no three weeks Saturday just gone so I think like 18 19 days I'm off to France fishing for an entire week uh, with the lads which I'm really looking forward to back to the same place we've been uh, for the last few years so very much looking forward to that and then in uh, July uh, we've got another one which is a kind of family based one so it's like a it's a house that sleeps about 10 people and then there's a lake within a few hundred uh, yards of the house. So we're going there with like my, me, my cousins, Jade, Lila, George, um, and we're gonna kind of spend half the time fishing, half the time messing around, evenings together, having a laugh. So yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to that. But the one I'm really looking forward to, I've got to be honest, is the one in June uh, with the lads. And now, my gal, my fishing uh, partner, uh, is looks like he's coming as well. So thank fuck he's allowed to come. Uh, because it just wouldn't have been the same without him. So, yeah, very much looking forward to that in the not-too-distant future. Tomorrow, got to drive over to Heathrow, which is a bit of a motherfucker for first thing in the morning. Um, but, yeah, that's life. Anyway, guys, have yourself a great uh, rest of the week. Hopefully, I will catch up with you uh, pretty soon in a new video. Thanks to loads of you as well for adding me on my private Facebook and also on Snapchat. And in fact, if you've got any ideas for videos that I can put on the main channel, versus videos, um, top three phone accessories, top five MacBook accessories, this, that, and the other, uh, let me know, because I'm gonna start doing a few more of those rather than just uh, reviews. So yeah, let me know what you think about that and if you've got any ideas. Uh, apart from that, have yourselves a great one. Uh, be safe and I will see you all in the next one. Peace. <laughs>